what he did was he showed that tasawwuf, or rather ihsan, is, is not a third of Islam. It is the animating factor of the religion itself. In other words, it is the heart of Islam. And without it, Islam becomes a dead thing. And that's really what he did. He centralized the concept of spirituality, that, that this is a spiritual tradition before it's a legal tradition, before it's a theological tradition, before it's a religious tradition of rites and rituals. It is a spiritual tradition. And the reason for that is because he understood that the single most important of all the sciences of human beings is the science of, of, of being. And he clearly states this in the introduction to his, his book on usul and mustasfa, where he says that all knowledges can be divided into two, universal knowledges and particular knowledges. There's only one universal knowledge, and that is the knowledge of al-mawjud, of being, of what exists. So he understood that metaphysics is the foundation of knowledge. And what he understood is that the, the strangest thing about the world is being itself, being itself. Like the story that David Foster Wallace tells in his famous essay, This is Water, where two, fi two young fish are swimming by an old fish, and the old fish says to the two young fish, how's the water, boys? And the two young fish move a little further along, and then one says to the other, what's water? Right? Because we don't think about being. It's, it's what we exist in. And so we don't actually think about it. But it is the single most important thing to understand. Because this thing, which is being, is called alam. It's called the world, the cosmos. Alam in Arabic is called ismu ala. It's the, the noun of instrumentation. It's the noun of instrumentation. Like tabi. Is, a, is what you imprint with, the tabi. It's what you make an imprint with. Alam is what you know by. It's the instrument of knowledge. That's why it comes from ilm itself. It's the instrument of knowledge. And so knowledge is the single most important thing that we do as human beings. Why? Because we are knowers by our very nature. This is what sets us aside from all the other animals. And this is why Allah says about people that don't seek knowledge, inhum kal an'am, bal hum adallu sabila. They're like cattle. No, they're even more astray. Why? Because a cow is being a cow. Its being is being fulfilled in its cowness. But a human that does not seek knowledge is not being a human because it's not fulfilling its humanity as a knower. This is what we are as human beings. And this is why life itself is a spiritual experience. You've got all these people, I want a spiritual experience. This is it, folks. This is the spiritual experience. Because how are we experiencing it? with consciousness, which is not a material thing. It's a spiritual thing. We're experiencing it through the senses, but the reality of our lives are spiritual realities. We're having a spiritual experience right now by simply being conscious. You don't need, if you want a, an altered consciousness, there's drugs for that. <laughs> that's, that's why people take drugs. Because they don't understand they're already having a spiritual experience. They don't need drugs to have a spiritual experience. You don't need to jump out of a plane to have a spiritual experience. You don't need to be on Mount Kilimanjaro to have a spiritual experience. It's right here and right now. It's just simply being aware, being conscious. Because this is an immaterial phenomenon. Consciousness is not a material reality. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala... When he created the, the human being, خَرَقَهُ, right? مِن طين. He created him from طين. This is the body. It's made of mud, material matter, water and earth, which is the essential elements of this planet. Water and earth. 70% water, 30% earth. Like our bodies, 70% water, 30% earth. Allah created us مِن طين, right? But then he said, I breathed into it from my ruh. 
So this is, when he talked about the nafs, the soul, he didn't call it theme. He said it came from his, from his ruh. Because your soul is not a material thing. It's a spiritual thing. And it's your soul through the vehicle of the body that's experiencing the world. You can't experience the world through anything other than your soul. And that's why mere experience of life on earth is a spiritual experience. And there are people that become aware of it, and there are people that think they're having a material experience. They're, they're called materialists. They deny the unseen, even though their very soul can't be seen. Their own consciousness can't be seen. You cannot find consciousness in a microscope. Scientists have been looking for it for a very long time, and they haven't found it. So the very thing that enables them to deny the spirit is the spirit itself. And this is why the malahida are ahmaqun nas. They're the most stupid people. They are. It, it's a, our ulama have always said that those who deny the soul are, are, are fools. Because they're denying the very thing that's enabling them to deny it. So that is one of the great contributions of Abu Hamid to recognize that the animating spirit, animating spirit, the thing that gives it life, that gives it animus, spirit, is, is this ihsan. And that Islam without iman is nifaq, but iman and Islam without ihsan becomes, uh, it can become a harsh thing very often, like what we see now among some of these extremists. It's a harsh thing. Or it become a Uh, or it becomes just a dry uh, legalistic thing that doesn't enable people to taste the sweetness. Man halawat al iman. The Prophet said, the one who's tasted the sweetness of faith. Faith has a sweetness. And that's when ihsan uh, infuses the faith. So, you're here.